Uh, now we are going to have another example. In this example, we use we assume that your random process has line spectra. Line spectra is coming from um, lots of physical phenomena, like if you get a light. So usually, light is uh, in different. Uh, uh, when you get it from um, other stars, or when you get it from it light bulb, and so on. So we kind of the light is produced uh, um, by a, a number of uh, frequencies. Suppose in, in one um, example that uh, the different samples of um, your random process, they are linearly dependent and you have this, uh, this, this expression. So, um, so solving this, uh, if, if, if this is valid for all um, time n, uh, you could uh, easily show that uh, your uh, sequence uh, could be equal to a function like that. So this is a general solution, um, a general solution. for uh, this equation. Suppose that uh, you have uh, uh, parameters A1. So now if you, if you substitute this guy here, what you get, you get summation of i equal one to n uh, bi uh, zi to the power of n plus uh, A1 summation of bi zi to the power of n minus 1 plus summation of a n and then you have bi and zi to the power of n minus cap n equal 0. Now uh, what you can do is that you can put this coefficient inside the sum, this coefficient inside the sum and then uh, have a one summation and, and and what you get is that one summation over i equal 1 to n. And then you will have bi zi to the power of n plus a1 bi zi to the power of n minus 1 plus summation of a n bi zi to the power of n minus n and this is shall be equal to zero. Now, all of these terms, all of these terms, I can take a factor of z to the power of n and put it outside of the sigma. So what I get, I get z i to the power of z i to the power of n, and then I have bi and then um, plus a1 zi to power minus 1 plus a n um, zi uh, to the power of minus n shall be equal 0 and summation of this over i equal 1 to n. What I argue is that this term, this term here, shall be equal to zero. If not, if this guy is not zero, this sequence should be equal to zero for all n, which is not possible unless if zi is equal to zero. Okay, if zi is equal to zero, if you put it in this signal, means that it is a term that is zero for everywhere and is not going to give me a solution. So this term should be equal to zero. So from here, I get this equation equal zero gives, if you solve it, if you solve it, it will give you All of oh, I'm sorry. So you should have this is should be um, one, and then you have a bi here. Okay. So these zi's, as a conclusion, these zi's here are the solutions of 
of a1 uh, 1 plus a1 z plus a2 z to the power of 2 plus plus a n z to the power of n equal to 0. So this equation um, gives you, so if you multiply this equation which is coming from this one by z to the power of n you can, you can simplify. So, so the general form of the solution of these is in this form and these zi's are the roots of zi are the roots of this polynomial. So this polynomial is the characteristic polynomial of this um, difference equation. So the, the, the zi's are the roots and it produces this one. So zi's they could be complex numbers because a, a polynomial, because it's a polynomial of degree n, how many roots it has? It has n roots. Okay, and then you could arbitrarily put so. so once you put that, then you could easily show that any zi which satisfies this to be equal to zero, you put it in this equation. And then remember on the previous slide, I had a, another equation which describes x of n, then x of n will become zero. So um, assuming that um, x of n is a wide sense of stationary, uh, we shall have these bi. Suppose that these bi's are random. Uh, if if it is wide sense stationary, mean of x of n um, shall be equal to summation over i of mean of bi times z to the power of uh, n. And if this guy is not zero, that means that this mean is changing with time because this is a function of time. So uh, for this to be stationary, mean of this should be zero. Now, uh, if you want these to be wide sense stationary, Rx, x of n also, uh, Rx, x, which is, or you could say that mean of x of n and x of n minus, let's say, m, conjugate, these also should be only function of m. So if you consider one of these components, so to have, um, stationary, uh, these zi's, they should be on the unit circle, so this point. In other words, these zi, if it is not on the unit circle, when you put it on to the power of n, zi has two components, rho e to the power of j omega, and then when you put it rho i j omega i, when you put it to the power of n, will become rho i to the power of n, e to the power of j omega i n. Now, as n increases, if this rho i is bigger than 1, this will, um, if magnitude of this is bigger than 1, if magnitude, if magnitude of rho i is not equal 1, either as time goes by, this becomes infinity, or if if, it, if magnitude of rho is smaller than 1, when n goes to minus infinity, this becomes infinity. So the energy of these uh, at some point in time will become infinity if we become too large if magnitude of rho is not equal 1. Rho bigger than 1 for large n, energy become too large. And if rho is smaller than 1 for very very negative values of uh, and this. So, in order to have wide sense of station random process, all roots shall be on the unit circle. And this means a line spectra, which means that x of n is a sum of um, sinusoidal, purely complex sinusoidal, we call it. Now, for these, if you calculate Rxx of k, which is mean of x of n and x of n minus k conjugate if you do that and if bi is uncorrelated with b let's say l when i and l so we have seen that this will become equal to this expression so we see that the, this function is also um, 
uh, it has uh, is a sinusoidal, which means that you have an energy of alpha i and frequency omega i. Okay, so and also at frequency minus omega i. So in summary, you find a solution of this equation, and then uh, your x of n, your um, random process can be calculated. So bi, um, mean of bi, mean of x of n shall be zero. So mean of b shall be zero, and then we argue that magnitude of zi shall be equal to one. Otherwise, uh, magnitude of this guy will become infinity if this magnitude is bigger than one, when n goes to infinity. Or if magnitude of this is smaller than one, when n goes to minus infinity, this becomes uh, magnitude of this, and then the energy becomes. Therefore, in that case, it is not white sensation. So this is why we have. So all these roots, they have to be on the unit circle. This is the only way that you get a wide sensation random process. And this is the case we call it line spectra. So the line spectra is produced when this equation has only solutions or only on the unit circle. And then these omega i represent the frequencies produced by this um, line spectrum. So we have this equation, we have this one, and in that case, the autocorrelation function can be written like that. And this alpha i is basically equal to mean of b i to the power of two. Furthermore, we have previously learned that b i and b j, if you calculate mean of b i, let's say times b j conjugate, mean of d shall be also zero, as a, as a remark. So if you take Fourier transform, this is summation over um, uh, Fourier transform of that, which is summation of Rx, x of, uh, let's say, k, and then e to the power j um, omega k, then you get the power spectral density, uh, which is equal to this. 